Okay, so I'm going to talk about Myco. Um, this is just going to be a quick video. I was sent this to try. Now, I use this one, and I pay $19 for it. This one is $15 on Amazon. I will be testing it and doing a progress version of this with both of these, so you can kind of see the difference. Now, they are both 2 ounces, 57 grams, so they're the same weight. This one is cheaper, um, and everything looks sort of similar, except this one's more natural, whereas this one is not. Um, and so then I'm just going to look at the back and then touch base there, too. All right, so I forgot I didn't even tell you what myco is. Mycorrhizal. It's basically a inoculant to your soil, let's say, and you can also put it directly on the roots. It's very good. It balances the micro... Um, Ugh, the word slipped my head. Uh, oh my god, that's gonna kill me. Like the micro, oh, microbial, the microbial health of your soil so that you're not essentially getting bad fungus, bad bacteria. Um, you're, you're, you're putting and introducing healthy fungi, healthy beneficial bacteria. And that is will really help um, the ecosystem inside your soil, if you will, or um, help your roots be strong and uh, get the nutrients they need pulled from the soils or whatever. In my case, I'm using Lecca, not Lecca, excuse me, I'm using Lechuza Pond. So I'm not sure if it works the same. I do use it on my pond, but I do also use it in my soil. So I'm gonna try this one today. And this is the one that was sent to me. I really like the breakdown of this. So you can see here, and the reason I say this is I do it with my, my pre-workouts as well. Like I won't buy pre-workouts that have, a, I call them compound ingredients. It'll say, um, like this, it'll say, uh, let's see. It'll say like blah, 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 right? And an ingredient, instead of having all the subcategories underneath it to list exactly what kinds of that type, in this case, it's the, the, the whatever these are, the spores of the fungi. Um, I don't know what these kinds of spores are. I'm not a microbiologist, if that's what it is, or what is a fungal? I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. Whereas this one, it's broken down so you can see exactly what how much of this type of uh, mycorrhizal fungi is in here and how much of this type of fungi, bacteria is in here, etc. And then instead of it saying other ingredients inside without a breakdown it breaks it down and actually tells you what's in here so that you know if you don't like it or you don't want your plant having a certain something you can see that it's in here and you know that it's safe or unsafe whereas here you're like mm, I'm just kind of trusting I'm trusting the brand you know, and that for me is a little bit of a red flag although it's still a great product I have been using it this is my second bag not bashing on this product by any means, but I do already like the look of this, just the way they're breaking it down and the easy um, application uh, directions. This one does have that too. Uh, so, I mean, they both in that regard are pretty much the same, let's be honest. Let me see. Oh, see, I do like this hydroponic system. So let's see. So the bottom of the transplant home, da, 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 da. we're not really doing hydroponic, we're doing semi. So if we're using Lechuza, we're going to, or pond, we're using semi, right? Semi hydroponic. For soil, or soilless mixes, okay, so that's what we're working with. Okay, directly to the roots. Okay, perfect. So what I like to do when I'm using Myco then, that's a direct root, which they all are. They're inoculants for your roots. And then it goes into your, your, um, soil and like i said it creates a healthy microbial balance or microbe balance inside your soil right so i'm going to put a little bit in this plant and we'll see if that helps at all although i'm too this is a very precious plant of mine so maybe not that one. <laughs> not that maybe not that guy um but i will put it in some of my babies and how i do that is i'll show you all right so i'm gonna do these odoras they're little alocasias, they're just corms. They're about the same same um, level of growth. 
their roots are about the same too. They are in different mediums. It is nice for me to test both mediums with it to see. My mom has had issues with Myco my in the past. She overdoes it though when she puts it in. <laughs> Sorry. But um, I'm going to basically sprinkle a little bit on top of each around the medium and then pour a tiny bit of water into it. Okay, so this is what the one that I was sent looks like. Just kind of what you would normally see. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, excuse my horrible, horrible nails, I'm going to just take a little pinch. I need to watch. Let me put my camera first and then I'm going to just sprinkle like a little bit. So you can kind of see it there, just like a little bit of mold it looks like. I'm just going to sprinkle that on the top and then I will, I might even just spray the top so it sinks in a tiny bit but not flushing it. All right, so I'm going to now, excuse me, excuse, excuse me, excuse me, Duncan. This is Chunky Donkey. He's hungry. Yeah, I had a lovely viewer recently tell me exactly how to de-chunkify this young man. So I'm excited to try that food and try that because he's just, look at this, this fupa. We call it his fupa. Yeah, I know you're so cute. Okay, move, move, please. All right, so I'm just going to take this tiny little spray bottle like my favorite thing ever and I'm just gonna give that just so it reaches the roots are right at the top so you really don't need a lot <laughs> there we go are you just watching yeah and then I will use this on another two that I have and then I'll show you what it looks like in this bag all right here's the other one this is the myco that I purchased off Amazon forever ago it's similar powder. It's more of a white. I, I wonder if they dye their powder just to make it look better. Here's the other one. Didn't look so pretty, but that's what makes me think that it's better because they're not putting any artificial dyes or bleaching it, etc. I don't know if they actually do that or not, but that's just what my head is like. Taz, that's weird, right? Because it looks too pretty. It doesn't say anything like that, so I don't know. But same deal, I take a little bit and I just sprinkle it on the top and then spray it through. I'm not going to do it with any of them because I'm going to just test with these. I don't really need to test with this since I do it all the time. I could put it on one of my own forms and just see, you know, if it does anything special. Whew, I had like a little fly in my mouth. So I'm just going to put, I'll put a little bit on my, my Aurea Pink Dragon. Um... And then just see, you know, if it increases his growth at all, you know, and then just go from there. And then I will see, because we can see now the roots, there's no roots showing. So we'll see if that makes a difference and how it grows in even, you know, one week and then go from there. Because we know now from this video, which ones we've done and which ones we haven't. This one I think did have a root poking out though. I want to say. So when to use Myco. Um, when I use it the most is if I get a new plant and I unpot it, right? I've unpot my, my new plant and I've cleaned the roots. They're plain roots. I take some and I will sprinkle, just sprinkle a little bit on the roots and then I pot it up. I don't do anything fancy. That's all I do. And then I plant the plant um, and then do its watering like I would everything else. Although what I will suggest is don't use any sort of pesticide that goes in your soil, any sort of systemic, because a systemic killer such as granules, um, even, uh, what's it called? The the mosquito bits can have an adverse reaction where it's now counteracting this because that is a different type of um, killers. It will kill this good fungi and good bacteria because that's its job, right? It's to kill all of that. So I would, that's just what I've, I think I, I've read. So I would maybe do this, let this stay kicked in for a couple of weeks. And if you're dealing with gnats, as I am on some of mine, not so much in this cabinet, but my other one, yeah, I uh, know which ones have it in. 
which ones wait, and then I will flush my plants to get rid of the gnats. A lot of my plants, even that went out, two customers had gnats like two weeks ago, and that's just a normal thing we all have to deal with, unfortunately. And they're clear when they left because they had been treated and everything went well. So just don't use them at the same time. Space them out and you should be good. All right, I'm actually going to do some on this guy. So you can see it's my minty poly. It's just been struggling since I've had it. I got it from Green Escape. Not really happy with it. It arrived with zero variegation. And they actually refunded me when I asked about it. I didn't even have to say it was a problem. They just did it. And so I don't know if they were having that issue with a lot of them, but that was very nice of them, I guess. Didn't need them to do that, but he's been here. He has been working on this second leaf for a year. Yeah, a, a, literally a year. Um, I don't know what's taking it so long, What? why it's so stressed. I know it's TC. I'm pretty sure it's TC. I don't know if that's maybe why. I just, ugh, it's been a hassle. But I keep wanting to see this next leaf to see if it's actually variegated because then I will keep it. And if it's not, then I'm goodbye, you know? And it's taking forever. So it's finally working on one. We'll see here if it actually sprouts faster and it's variegated. Who knows? All right, I did go ahead and put that new myco that I was sent on this guy as well. Um, this is my Caramel Regal Shield. It's just been struggling. I've put it in a cup with more holes now so that hopefully it will do better. I actually want to switch it to one with even more holes now that I look at it because it's not the right one. And I think that's why it was getting a lot of algae. And I'm going to try and combat that so that we don't have such a big buildup. Okay, I swapped them quick. So this cup has more holes, which I'm hoping will offer a better environment, more oxygen, and less chaos. So we will see if this makes a difference and if it helps him grow. And of course, I put this on it as well. Fingers crossed, because he needs a little help. <laughs> All right, we're back for the rest of this test. It has been two weeks. I believe it's been two weeks. Two, two, two or three weeks. It's been a bit here, it's been a bit. So out of the two plants that I had tested, I had tested this Odora with the myco that I was sent. And then I, with the, the other myco that I have for my own plants that I purchased myself, um, I don't have the bags here right now, but the one I was not sent to test, I did on my Aurea Pink Dragon. If you saw the other Odora that I tested, I actually accidentally repotted into a different mix to test it. And it's not doing great in there, but that has nothing to do with the mycorrhizal. So I'm leaving him out of this equation right now. I forgot. He's just looking rough in his replant in this substrate. I got hiccups, excuse me. <laughs> um, but so I wanted to show you um, the two that were tested. So I used the regular myco that wasn't sent to me um, in this one and then the one that I was sent in this one. So already you can kind of see even the base difference between these two. And then look at this guy. So this is the one I was sent. Look at that. Ugh, he's already grown two leaves and you saw he was just a corm. And I mean, the roots are healthy. The roots look good. I'm overwhelmed, overwhelmingly pleased with this, the results of this. And you know, it could just be the plant. It could also be the myco. I don't know, but I'm gonna say that that certainly helped, certainly made the difference. Now my Aurea <laughs> looks like dookie, okay? It it hasn't done, it looks rough. And I had to put a lid on it and try and figure out how to make it happy. It wasn't doing great. So, so far, the one that I was sent is winning. Um, it definitely looks good. And then I also remember if you don't, well, if you don't remember, well, you will because you just watched the <laughs> Oh my god, it's so far, far in the future for me that it's confusing to remember. But remember I did this mint uh, poly? Look, he has a new leaf. He is way happier than he was. I don't know if there's any mint in it, but he's growing new roots here. Look at those new aerial roots coming out. Well, they're not really aerial roots. They're more like just he's growing up, so his he's going to get stems or roots out of... Um, as the stem grows higher, he's going to get more and more roots coming out. And 
I, 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 the way the roots look is because of me. I need to bore more holes into this. The LG is kind of killing my root system. But you can see, look, he's trying to grow secondary roots. The main roots look rough. This is my own fault. This has nothing to do with the myco. The myco has definitely helped keep these secondary roots going good. If you can see, see there's yucky roots and there's some good ones. So it overall looks rough just because I don't really care about this one as much. I'm just disappointed in its its journey, the journey I've had with this one that I haven't been the most caring. But um, I sell pot planters with this cup right now, but I actually make holes in them uh, before I sell them because that's what I've noticed has been making the algae so bad. So if you have more... This is the other one that goes with it. So it's this cup or this cup. And what it does is it gives it way more oxygen so you're preventing the growth of algae. And it's been so much better for me. I just hate that the, I just hate that the roots come out of these cups. Cannot stand it, cannot stand it. That's okay, I need to repot this guy. He's gonna start really showing ugly, ugly leaves here if I don't, but isn't he gorgeous? Ugh. And on him right now, speaking of beneficials, this guy has beneficial mites on him. They're called, I don't know if they're mites actually, but they're called cucumerous um, pests. I don't know. Oh, here you can see up here. How cute. Get it. Get it, bug. I was going to say get it, baby. <laughs> so awkward. I've never said that in my entire life. Why was I going to say that to the little bug? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I just made you cringe really hard, I know. But here's what <laughs> they are, in case anyone's interested. Get them off of Amazon. I will get the link from my mom for you guys, but she, I made her order it because I never know which one to get, and I'm like, just order me some! And she did. So, they seem to be doing some work, and what happens with them is they will go and scooch around your plants, eat all of the yuckies, the eggs and stuff. They're not um, the, what's the, they're not the super carnivorous ones. I forget what those ones are called, but those ones, predatory. They're not really the predatory ones where they will go and eat the actual thrip body, like main body or like the adult, excuse me. My words are hard today, you guys. But Taz, you always struggle with words. I know. Shh. But um, they're living their best life right now. They're not finding any pests. So I don't actually think I had anything on these guys. But I love knowing that they've gone through and done some damage, you know, or done some checks. See, look at them there on my Watsoniana. Which, by the way, this new leaf is... It's, this is probably one of my favorite basic alocasia. Same with this one. I, I guess you could call it a basic alocasia. It's not really variegated or anything, but it's my venom. There's a little mite up there. Look at all those little mites. Now, if they don't find stuff to eat, you know, nature takes its course. They will just die off. But we have found them creeping around in the soil of our plants months later. So I know for a fact that I deal with gnats all the time, and gnats are always laying eggs. So I think they feed off those gnats, if I'm being honest. That's what my mom and I have come to the conclusion of. We don't know what else, but look at the look at this little baby. Look how cute he is. Oh, he went around the back. Rudy's camera shy. It's okay. But yeah, if you are stressing about your plant and you think it might have pests, it really is a great way to just send through, you know, a backup. And it's not that spendy to do, honestly. It's quite affordable to get them, at least in my opinion. Um, they seem to do damage. And I'm releasing a video after this one that is about um, bringing your plants from out to in. So that, you know, how to not only acclimate them back into your house, but basically just for pest control. Because that's our biggest fear going from you know, outdoors to inside, we don't know how to make sure there's nothing in the soil, make sure there's nothing on those leaves. You know, we need to make 100% sure that we're not bringing in plants that are infested with anything that's going to spread around our own plants. So I show it a whole, it's a very ugly looking video. It's definitely not a pretty well-made video. It's well-made in the, the sense of I'm showing you how I do it. I'm showing you, you know, exactly the process I take. It's just not 
very pretty. It's in my bathroom, dark bathroom, no lighting. Like, it's just for information, not for like aesthetic <laughs> purposes. So hopefully that doesn't bother you, but it definitely makes a big difference. And I also use these guys on them. So if you're planning to bring plant, I'm plan bringing mine in early because I'm going to Miami soon and I don't want my husband to have to struggle with anything outside while I'm gone. If there's cold weather, I want to make sure it's all done before I leave. That way my husband just can check the water levels of my cups and make sure that they're not empty. And that's, you know, all the job I have to give him. This is the other one I used that mica on. And he is repot, so just keep that in mind. He's not going to be, I just repot him recently, so he's not going to be as showing for roots and stuff, but... From his leaves alone, he hasn't died. He's he's doing okay. He lost one leaf, but I did repot him, so makes a difference. Um, a follow-up I forgot to talk about was this Regal Shield that I had pulled out last time to video using. Here it is. I, I pulled it out. <laughs> um, I used this on this when I repot him in here. Oh, shit. Sorry. Um, I just wanted to show you the, the results. So let me just go to the light here. So, I don't know if you can see it there. Oh, God. I'm, hang on. I'm dropping my... <laughs> hang on. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, we're back. Here, look at those roots, you guys. Oh, and he was just repot. I'm yelling. I'm so sorry. But I'm so freaking pleased this plant was struggling so much. And it's been a week. It's been a week. I cannot make this up. You know when I, uh, I'm going to show you a video of my little regal that got repotted. I repotted at the same time, um, which was, God, I don't remember. No, I repotted it a week later because I did it on my floor here. So this was like a week ago, a week, week ago. Yeah, because I just did my venom. So yeah, look at that a week, you guys. I'm telling you, this stuff's incredible. I Look at those secondary roots and you can see where the, old roots were laying and there's they're forming secondary roots off those roots ah uh, i love it i love to see it i love look at caramel regal shield and he he absolutely loves that that myco so go get yourself some uh but yeah so so far they they seem to be doing okay i really like this myco i it's it's otaku approved <laughs> if you will uh, I definitely think it's uh, one you should give a try if you're trying to pick a myco. I Like I said before, I really like how they break down the actual spores, the fungus, the bacteria, all of that. They're breaking it down. They're letting you know exactly what's in there. They're not hiding any ingredients under, under a subcategory, you know, that's combined into one category but doesn't break it down, if that makes sense. I don't know how else to say that correctly, but for me, it's super important to see that because that means that the company wants you to know but they're not hiding anything. They've put everything that's beneficial in there and you can see it for yourselves. So very, very, very helpful. I, as you can see, I've only gotten good results and this guy took six months and then finally I give him some of that myco and he is, he's popping. Same with this, two leaves already popping. This guy, nothing, nothing. So I will link their product in the bottom and um, let me know if you have the same results in a couple months or whenever, if you get any, and uh, see if it works for you as well. But also, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully this was helpful to teach you a little bit about Myco. Remember, <laughs> not an expert, not an expert. Whatever I say, a lot of the time is jumbled, and I, I'm learning from experience. I'm talking from experience, from things I know, from hearing, from, from YouTube, from you know my own research, etc. Definitely not experience by any means just my own personal experience so if i said anything wrong or you don't agree with something feel free to say it in the comments i won't be offended we're all here to learn from each other even if we're doing something wrong it's always good to hear alternative ways or if something i'm saying is incorrect and i'm advising people you know the wrong way so i'm always open to healthy constructive criticism Anyways, thank you for watching. I'm going to get this out because I need the space on my phone. <laughs> Have a lovely week, you guys, and I will see you in the next one.